This is Sam and Holly. Today they're going to show you a short experiment demonstrating an engineering problem that we face in our roles as acoustic consultants. Let's follow them. In our roles as acousticians, we are often presented with real life problems that require practical solutions. We're going to demonstrate a common problem using some toys and bits and pieces we found lying around the office. Structure born noise transmission. We hope that this is something you can do at school or home too. To do this experiment, you'll need a table, some sponges, a plastic box, and a noise source. We're going to use a metal music box as our noise source. This experiment can be done anywhere where it's reasonably quiet with a small table. The experiment isn't too loud, and we can do this sitting or standing. This person has been complaining for weeks about noise from the factory next door. It has a piece of equipment in the yard which keeps making noise. 42 dBA? It doesn't seem that bad to me. What about now? Sixty-five dBA. Oh, I can see why that might be annoying. It's louder when on the table than in the air. Why might that be? Have you got any ideas on how we could stop the noise getting from the music box to the neighbour? What if we put it in a box? Let's try it out. Sixty-six dBA. That's not made it any better. Most of the sound energy from the music box is going into the table. As the music box makes tiny movements, those movements are transmitted into the table and the table amplifies those movements into bigger ones, making the sound louder. I think we need to isolate the music box from the table. Will this help? 34 dBA, that's loads quieter. And that's all because we've isolated the music box from the table. This sponge is compressible. The sponge doesn't amplify the tiny movements made by the music box and instead absorbs the energy from the music box. We don't just have to listen to how this has changed the way the music box transmits energy into the table. We can feel it too. Oh yes! With the music box directly on the table, I can feel small vibrations. With the music box on the sponge, I can't feel them anymore. Well, they seem happy with our solution. Out in the real world, the noise sources that affect people every day aren't small and musical like this. Lots of big pieces of equipment used to heat or cool down our buildings or make sure there's enough power to places like schools and hospitals can make annoying noises if they're not properly isolated from the structure they're installed on. In real life, instead of lunch boxes and washing up sponges, we use rubber mats, big springs and large heavy enclosures to control noise and help improve the noise environment for people all around us. We hope that you might like to try this experiment out yourselves. Why not try other ways of isolating the music box from the table? Maybe you could see whether things like books, coasters, wood or metal work better or worse than the sponge does. We'd love to hear how you get on.